I feel sorry for the trailer. Watch your really breaks back up when you let the pressure off. First I thought something bent was bending. Get that grass off the straw, Garrett. Jesus, no. Oh, that is unbelievable. Now you gotta worry about your license plate. There you go, a piece of wood that Levi's carving. That thing is heavy. It's monstrous. Now what do you do? It's gonna slide it. Well, if we get a chain right under here now, we got it in there so I can get out now. You don't want it turning it though and it fault rolling back off. Then it would roll off the mm -hmm. thing beyond the road. Yep. So you don't want that. Oh. Have to burn that curb. How are you going to keep that on there down the road? hauling that. That shit comes off on the highway, you're going to kill somebody. Well, the bear is anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just 
gonna be in Dad's truck where it's nice and safe. No, you just stay right here with Grandma. Why they hoist that on there? No, I'm going in the the cab. But what if that trailer bucks loose and flips up? You're better off just back here. I don't know what happened to the other video of me dragging this up and strapping it down. But this is when I got it home and took it off. I just hooked up the chain to the log here and to a tree I got in the backyard and just pulled it off. This is how I secured it. Just put the arch back over it with the winch, putting pressure against it. So I got these logs loaded on the trailer. Now to get them off, I got my winch cable running through a snatch block. Back down to the log. I got chains on the arch to keep it from falling back. And a chain to keep it from falling forward. Adjust the chain. Okay, now I will go adjust the chain and move it a little bit further up on the log towards the front. Okay, so getting that last half off just right there, that little tip was just kind of stuck right there on the back and I couldn't get it to move back far enough because the back end was digging in. So I might want to put some other logs back here to help it roll a little bit. But what I did here, I got the remote for the winch. I just got in the truck and lifted the tip of the log up just a little bit and pulled out as I let the log down and that seemed to work pretty smooth okay so I'm testing this out for the first time I'm just going to try to stand this log up on end I got the arch chained to the back going up there to keep it from moving too far to the front again I got it chained to the side. Going up there to hold it off the edge. All right, I'm gonna test this out.
Okay, so that works pretty good for lifting things off the back. And that's that's why I built that peak. Uh, just so I can lift things a little higher. And if I wanted to do an archway or something, I got a way to lift things up. So I did use the hoist on the front to lift this log onto the trailer from the backyard to get it up here in the driveway. Uh, that works pretty good. I'm guessing this log weighs about six to eight hundred pounds, somewhere in there at least. Uh, it's too heavy for me to lift up on end for sure, and it's hard to even roll it, so uh, that works pretty good. And this is what the log in the driveway was for. I carved this bear out of it, and I actually used the hoist on the front of the trailer to just lift this up into the bed of the truck uh, for when I delivered it. I just put it into the back of another truck. And this is a sculpture I was asked to remove. Uh, the top piece was driven in with rebar and through the top and so I backed the arch up to it and lifted it with the hoist. Uh, it got just high enough to lift it off of that log coming out of the ground and get it lowered down and loaded onto the trailer. So that's pretty much all the update I got for now. Uh, as more things come along that I use the trailer for, I'll try to get it filmed and try to post some more updates on how the trailer's working out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, just leave them down below. Thanks.